Okay, we're going to uh, review how to create a WAD. So once in the admin panel, click on the WAD icon at the top of the page. Click create a WAD. And the first thing it'll ask is WAD category. So the software does have the ability to uh, post multiple WADs. Keystone is currently set up, I believe, as a single WAD gym. If you wanted to add, say, a kids WAD or an endurance WAD, you can add that under the WAD category tab. So, but just moving forward, uh, you have one, so you would just pick WAD. And it's going to ask you uh, what type of Metcon. Are you doing a benchmark, which is going to be one of the girls or the heroes, or are you just going to do a custom program? If it's a benchmark, as you see when I scroll down here, Amanda will default first because Amanda, um, it goes in ABC order, in alphabetical order, and Amanda is at the top. If you wanted to do one of the girls or the heroes, you would just scroll down and uh, choose the benchmark wad that you want to perform that day. So back to the top, we pick benchmark. We choose the wad date, which is how it's going to show in your member's journals. So I'm going to do the 17th. The publish day, when you want it to publish. Some people want it to publish the evening before. Give it a title. I'll just put in today's wad and choose a main image. It's important to choose a main image so that uh, when your wad posts over to Facebook and when you link it on social sites that the image that attaches to it is uh, is clear. Pre-wad, if you do any pre-wad, you can put in uh, dynamic warm-up or anything you may do for pre-wad if you choose. Some gyms do not use this field at all. For strengths, you choose uh, the strength you want and the rep scheme you want. Of course, you can, you can add more. So I'm going to do uh, bench press and back squat, one rep max. And then, as I said, you can choose one of the, the girls or heroes and add notes. Hot day, stay hydrated. Also, not all boxes use this field. When I click Submit, it'll then show me the wad. Give me the option to crop it. If I click on Barbara, it's going to show uh, a video for Barbara. Same with bench press and back squat. It also recognizes that Bob that uh, Barbara is scored for time. It also tells us what Barbara is, and uh, gives me the op the opportunity to crop the image. So I'm going to crop that image. The reason I'm going to do that is to maintain the look and the design on the home page. So when I crop that and go back to the main site. I did, I did not publish it. <clears throat> and now I'm going to go to WAD. I'm going to go to Edit WAD. I'm going to publish it. Oh, it looks like somebody put in a WAD for today already. Now on your site, if I click on WAD and go to Edit WAD, I can scroll down to the bottom where Amanda incorrectly showed, and I can change Metcon to custom or to existing, which is going to be one of the benchmarks, the girls or the heroes. And once I click that, it will give me the drop down for, again, Amanda, so on and so forth. Or if I choose custom, it's going to ask me, how is my custom wad being scored? And what are the movements, and I can put them here, click Submit, and that will edit it. Creating a custom workout versus a benchmark workout is almost identical, in which you will choose the WAD category for you, WAD. The Metcon type, instead of benchmark, you'll pick custom. You'll fill out the fields just like you did the first time. But as you see, it will not give you a drop down for the girls or the heroes. Instead, it'll, it'll give you a field here, it says custom benchmark, that's a typo, that should be custom Metcon. You can put in your movements here, tell us how you score it, click submit to set up your WAD.